corn and wheat are Ukraine's most valued exports, and the price of both have gone up in futures trading this week. If that continues, it could have long-term ripple effects in other countries that rely on Ukraine's grains. Roy Rottenberg has more from Kiev. The Crimean Peninsula has some of Ukraine's most strategic shipping ports. In fact, it's one of the world's key grain exporting zones. But the standoff with Russia has stoked fears over the possible disruption of future shipments. At the same time, Ukrainian growers last week held on to more grains than they normally would due to a drop in their currency. Ukraine's former deputy agriculture minister explains why. When they sell corn, they are not able to use the hot currency to purchase the input. They have to bring the currency back to the country. They have to change for local currency, and they have to buy from the local bank again the hot currency and pay after to, to, to deliver uh, agriculture input. And having such a, a system, they are losing approximately 10 percent of money. Ukraine is the world's second biggest exporter of grains behind only the United States. Last year, Ukraine was the world's fourth biggest exporter of corn and the sixth biggest exporter of wheat, much of it going to the Arab world. And in the past, a shortage of exports helped trigger food riots in North Africa. Any kind of negative Im impact uh, on, on agriculture of Ukraine providing the same negative impact on that region. And those countries uh, would become very much concerned if situation in Ukraine uh, continue like now. And analysts say a short-term spike won't likely have a long-term impact. It won't, for example, affect the global price of bread. And they caution against reading too much into the prices. They note, for example, that they're still lower now than they were at the end of 2012, following years of bad harvests. But if the standoff in Ukraine continues, they warn, and prices surge, the effects could be felt both in Ukraine and around the globe. Rui Ruttenberg, CCTV in Kiev.